play. Daniel Mullins games. Let's see here. I know this is a card game. Time to figure out what's on this thing. Inscription. Let's see what we have here. Credits, options. Okay. Oh, I see. Interesting. Screen shake and flicker FX. Dialogue, text, speed. That's a good speed. Resolution, high, noise effect. We'll leave that as it is. And, uh, let's see what we got. I think we're good to go. Continue new game. You have to continue. Weird. Another challenger it has been ages. Perhaps you have forgotten now how this game is played. Allow me to remind you. Hold on, guys. I'm just going to get rid of this. All right. Play the squirrel card. Okay, we have a squirrel. We have a stoat a, and two wolves. Squirrel card. Zero attack, one HP. Now play your stoat. Okay, I'll put my stoat... Stoats cost one blood. Sacrifices must be made. Oh, so the blood symbol is near his ear. So we have to sacrifice our squirrel for the stoat. An honorable death, play the stoat. Oh, so now he has one attack. Wolves require two sacrifices. You don't have enough. Ring the bell to end your turn and commence combat. Your stoat stands unopposed. The number on the bottom left is the attack power. Okay. Your stoat dealt me one damage. I added it to the scale. You win if you tip my side all the way down. Like this. My turn. Oh, he's gonna mess me up. Coyote. Your stoat stands in the way of my coyote. My coyote deals two damage to your stoat. That means your stoat's health is two less. If a creature's health reaches zero, it dies. It's your turn again. You may draw from your deck or you may draw a squirrel. Um, for another sacrifice. How about I just kill? Okay, fuck it. I'll get, I'll get another squirrel. How dull. Okay. Yo, the sergeant, what up, dude? So I'll play hit and then I'll get the wolf. I mean, I could just attack him and kill him, can I? Uh, but I could also sacrifice both of them for a wolf. But, I mean, I, I could just do it just to see how the mechanic works. <laughs> it's suffering was real, but you will see it again. I just did it just to do it. Okay, and now, ding. Because you are learning, I will pass. Again, the choice, a random card from your deck or the certainty of a squirrel. Random card. River Snapper. You are lacking sacrifices for that. So two, well, I can play it. I mean, wait, what? Oh, there we go. All right. Three damage out, three weights on the scale. Pass, squirrel. I only, only got to choose one of those. Okay. Um, Let me put the squirrel down and... So if I do this, Will it take only one? Let me see what happens. It sacrifices the whole card. Oh, okay. Lol. It doesn't just take two off of the health. It takes... Oh. Hmm. You've won this match. They won't all be so easy. Okay. Let me recall your story. Oh, yes. 
You were lost deep in the forest. A single path revealed itself. Two denizens of the forest approached you tentatively. Okay, let's go with the... Uh, I'm a lefty. An adder. Why is there skull and bones? Oh, we get both of them. The undying cat sacrificing the poor beast does not kill it. Is that what that symbol means? Only one may grace your paltry deck. Let's go with the cat. Another creature joins your caravan. Some of the creatures of the forest seemed willing to follow you. You came across- is there an end to this game? Like, can you get to the end and beat it? Or is it like, ongoing? You came across an abandoned sack. You found a squirrel in a bottle break in case of emergency. Okay. And have a second. Well, is this a game where you're supposed to die and you unlock more shit? Is it like a roguelike? Another useful implement, I'll allow you to tip the scales with it. The fuck? Three is as much as you can carry. Okay, we have a bunch of bottles and stuff and we're going into our first battle. Okay, you were ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. All right, so there's a boulder. So those are, I just can't play shit there and he can't play shit there. <laughs> you sacrificed me while I was sleeping. It was the right play, I get it. Maybe you'll help me? Take your turn. Play along for now. The fuck? You may now see my moves ahead of time. Oh wait, I can see his moves ahead of time? The fuck? So he's gonna play a wolf cub right here. So then why don't I play a uh, squirrel, right? And play the stoat and then put the stoat here. And then I could get the snapper, but I'm not gonna. I mean, I could just cover the cat and just have the cat out. You can't draw blood from a boulder. Oh, but he needs one, so it's not worth it. Never mind. I don't know if it's worth using the squirrel yet. I could do a squirrel. I'm gonna do the squirrel, just to see what happens, and then get the cat, just cause, cause I don't know. So you can sacrifice the cat and mind the ambitious wolf cub, it ages swiftly. Okay, let's get this. Another wolf, okay. So hypothetically, it'd be worth sacrificing these two. Wait, what is he doing here? A bat to attack one HP. How much HP? Oh, he would die right off of that. I could put the snapper here just to see what's up. Why don't I do it? YOLO. So the cat is always in play unless he kills it. I'm gonna pretend that was a good idea. Yes. The airborne bat flies over creatures to attack directly. Oh. My bat flew right over your river snapper. Oh. Uh, let's do a random card. Two wolves. Um. So I'm just gonna attack. What is this? Airborne. Oh, it tells you when you right click it. When a card bearing the sigil is sacrificed, it does not perish. Oh, okay. I think I'm just gonna kill his card. And then he killed my stump. And then, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna chill here. Oh wait, I need to draw a card first. Oh yeah, and then the squirrel. So I could summon the wolf. If I play the squirrel, um, and then get the wolf, I would block. I could just block with the wolf and just see what happens. So in this game, when he attack, when one of your cards attacks, they don't take damage. They only take, uh, yeah, they don't lose health. So, wait, so wait a minute. Can't I do this now? Yeah, the cat seems like the best card for sacrifices. You prevailed and trekked onwards past now the blood, the blooded terrain. I missed it. Okay. Why does this stump have an asshole? I'm not sure. Sparrow. 
Okay, that's a nice card and a wolf cub. What is this? It takes one turn for him to become a wolf. Oh, okay. Well, I'd take the sparrow just because he can fly and go over shit. Is this a chest or something? You stumbled into some strange stones in the mist. You were compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice, one that will be lost forever. No, I'm gonna keep the cat because it seems like you have to sacrifice to summon your better cards. You looked upon your menagerie and selected a healthy host. Two cats does not sound bad. Wait, is this? Am I choosing which one I want now? I'm thinking wolf or cat. Even though he does say pick me and th this guy did say play along before he did. But what if you don't? What if he's lying? Fuck you, chat. I don't believe you. Flying cat, a ghastly spectacle, but the soul of the sparrow now lives in the cat. Wait, what? Fuck you, chat. You're a fucking idiot. There's not one way to play this game, you fucking noob. Behold my totem inscribes my canine cards with the airborne sigil. No care for a uh, pathetic, really. This is probably like the better fucking play. Oh god, the sto- Oh, you, don't worry, man. We'll sacrifice you. Relax. Wait, so this makes- A card bearing the sigil will strike an opponent directly even- Okay, yes. So, okay. And then what is he doing? He has a flying rat coyote and a bat. Oh, shit. Um... Okay, so we're gonna play the squirrel, play the stoat. Was that a 2-1? I'm just gonna play the stoat here. Back on the board, and now we're just gonna chill. I could do a squirrel, and then get the snapper out. Fuck it. But I feel like I'm using those items too much. To the user, you will place a weight on the scales. The pain is temporary. Okay, so that's like a oh fuck button. Huh. Okay. My totem has granted my code of the power of flight. Ow. Um, let's go with this. We got a squirrel. So, two, one. Uh, I can kill him with the snapper. I'm gonna sacrifice them, I think. I have to, to play one of them. I'm gonna do it. The snapper's nice. And then I'm gonna put him in front of the coyote. And then pretend that's a good idea. Oh, wait a minute! I think I'm fucked. A well-earned point of damage. I didn't think you would really do it. By the way, playing a game like this with Twitch chat is actually fucking terrible. This is a form of torture. I think I lost. You've lost. Using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up. Get up from the table. Fetch me the candlestick from atop the barrel besides the door. Okay. Like, okay. Besides the door. Okay. We can actually move around. There's some candles here. Uh, how about this? Bring it here. Okay. You want me to put it right there? Okay. There you go. Okay. I'll go right up to your hand. There you- Okay. There you go. Now sit back down. Alright. Ooh, what is that? I'm assuming I can't fuck with anything until he tells me. Let me explain something to you. What? That was one of the two mistakes you can make here. 
If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Now, where were we? Oh, God. I see. Oh, shit. Sparrow, Adder, and the Raven. The conniving Raven, a blight upon the skies. Alright. I will actually take the Raven. Thank you. I don't know what the campfire does. Let's find out. came across a small group of survivors. Faces shrunken from starvation, they huddled around a campfire. They looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Come warn one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm by the fire that will enhance its power, said another. You notice one of the survivors whipping drool from their mouths, or wiping. Oh shit, okay. I feel like they're gonna eat the card. Guess what, you're up. The fire warmed the poor stoat, enhancing its power. Fuck! One of the survivors reached towards it. Another gnashed their teeth. Without a word, you pulled the stoat away from the fire and left. Damn it, it buffed him? Fuck, I was having him sacrificed. Grand fur. Okay. Uh, and there's a grizzly bear coming. Oh, shit. Wait, how much HP? 6 HP, 4 attack. I'm literally gonna get fucked. There is no winning here. Oh, God. Alright, well, gotta play the squirrel. And... Uh, I guess we'll get the cat out. And I don't know if I want to pop this. Just to get the raven out. Or the wolf. Oh shit, I should've. Oh fuck, he's gonna die. Whoever I put here is gonna die. Shit! I don't think I can move him. I can't move the card. I'm gonna play the wolf then. Actually, wait a minute. No, no, I was wrong. Lol, I was wrong. We can defend with a card. Uh, I'll do a squirrel just to pop the raven. Just to have a little bit of defense and the wolf can attack, so. Better than nothing. Alright. It allowed me to defend. So... I'm gonna pull another one. Shit. I need to hit once. It's hard to tell if you're gonna win here. I think I win. I mean, I can't play anything, so I'll just attack. Oh, nice. Uh, so this powered up a card. I would power up my wolf. Elk? What is this? The flighty elk, it moves after attacking. A proud wolf, a vicious contender, bullfrog. The watchful bullfrog, it leaps in the way of attacking flyers. Oh, okay, so he's air defense. Um, I'll do, I mean, the elk seems nice. I'll do air defense just because I'm curious. I could buff him. How about I buff the frog and win with the fro frog? Here are starving survivors. There's room for a creep. A creature around the fire, one said. The warmth will enhance its health, said another. One of the survivors said nothing at all, but could not stop licking their lips. What if it's, like, RNG chance? I could... Wait, this is plus two health. So I'd be giving him plus two health. I'd rather give the wolf plus two health. Or maybe give my tank plus two health. Or just keep buffing him, because I already gave him more attack. The bird, five HP in the air is not bad. I'm gonna give it to the stoat. Guess what? Yeah, yeah, we're doing a weird route. He's already pissed, but we're gonna buff him and then use him. As one of the survivors began pulling a knife from their pocket, you withdrew. I'm telling you, watch. The stoat is the... Yeah, we're doing a weird route. Uh-oh. The trees seemed to close in around you as a chill mist descended. In the distance, you could hear the clinking of metal on stone. A hobbled figure stood in your path. 
Yeehaw, it was the prospector. Oh, shit. What is he doing? Pack mule and a coyote. So wait, what the fuck? He does nothing and then moves? I could just fly over him. So... We have the cat and the squirrel. So we're gonna put the squirrel down. And then the squirrel's gonna instantly get eliminated by the cat. Okay, and the cat... We can get the bullfrog. And the bullfrog can just fly over all that shit and do his thing. So we get one from the bullfrog. Okay. Um, we're gonna pull a squirrel to get the raven. The raven's 2-3. So the raven will kill him. So we're gonna get a squirrel. We're gonna put the squirrel down. We're gonna get the raven. And then pop the raven. And then let's see. What are the effects of him? A card bearing this sigil will block... An opposing creature bearing the airborne sigil. No one has the airborne sigil. Other than my guys. Wait, oh wait, because the, the raven flies over. Shit. Whatever. Wolf. Wait, he killed- oh yeah, he killed the cat. So, I could kill... I think I, when I win, they're gonna attack three. It's hard to tell when you're gonna win. If I kill the raven, the coyote's gonna attack. Um, there's a meter on the top of the scale. Oh. Okay, I could either sacrifice, take two, ki end up killing the wolf, and then having this open, or I just play this, and then three attack happens. Um, your frog doesn't attack. Oh, wait, the frog is literally just airborne defense. And there's no airborne. I have no bottles. I use them all. He does attack. Fuck it. Doing the prospector again. Easy boss, the mule's key. Shit. Oh, oh wait. Two, five, sacrifice. I kind of want to put him in front of the wolf. Yes, I'm sure. Fuck the mule. I don't trust him. I don't trust him at all. Oh, this is bad. Because I'm going to have to sacrifice him for the wolf. Oh, no. I think I'm dead here. Because I can play the squirrel. I could just leave the squirrel for defense, but no, I can't. If I leave the squirrel there for defense and just wait, let me see what happens. But, yeah. Yeah, because he's just going to keep summoning more and more cards. Uh, to get through, you do need the mule. Fuck! I mean, we do have a turn for him. I'm going to get a squirrel out. Chill with the squirrel. Get the wolf out. I'm going to get hit here. I think it's actually GG. Dag nabbit, my mule. Lol. More gold for me. No!
Wait, can I move? Oh, you aren't dead yet? This isn't purgatory, though you may think of it that way. Before you expire, I must ask you a favor. I would like a memento. Your very own death card. It's quite plain at the moment, isn't it? We will work together to amend that. I want this to be the perfect memento for you. Here are some cards from your mediocre deck. We can put them to good use. Please choose a card to draw the cost from. A cost of two blood from the river snapper. And another. This time I will use its power and health. I mean, wouldn't I want the wolf? Why would I want a two blood zero one? What is this? Mighty leap. Oh. All right, let's see. Now choose a card from which you will extract the sigils. So he blocks and he attacks airborne. But uh, I'd rather have a flying card. So you customize your own card when you die. I never did ask you for your name, Bob. This There is now but one final matter, the portrait. Are you ready? You do not need to smile. Uh, here we go again. Another challenger. Perhaps it's time. Perhaps you can understand bones. The resource pool. Opossum costs two bones. You gain a bone when one of your creatures perishes for any reason. Okay, so he... You summon him when shit dies. Got it. Alright, squirrel. We'll get the stoat. From the death of your creature, you've gained a bone. Oh, from the sacrifices. You will not lose this until it is spent or the battle ends. Ah, okay. So, well, that's all we can really do. Ow. Ow. That fucking hurt. Um, okay. So, let's get a squirrel. And boom. And boom. And then fucking block with this guy. And then we got the opossum with a 1-1. One, one. That guy keeps spawning shit there. I'll get another squirrel. There's not much else I can do here. Alright, we got a bone. Okay, we can put a squirrel down just for defense. And then get the bullfrog out. I'm pretty sure one more and it's GG, so it's GG. Nice. Oh, it's not GG. There's one more. Squirrel, there's no reason. I mean, I could just put the squirrel down. This is a game you have to play it. Uh, wow, thank you for that. How brutal of you. You dealt me more damage than you needed to win. However, in my game, such feats are rewarded. To be precise, a tooth to keep for each extra damage dealt. The trapper may be interested in your spoils. Okay, so extra damage at the end gives me more, um, bones. What the fuck? Oh. I forgot your figurine. Get up and fetch it for me. Whoa, bitch. It's besides the safe. This guy? All right. What the fuck? Why is it flashing? Let us continue. Coyote, Rattler, Cockroach. The unkillable cockroach returns to your hand after dying. We could do that. I feel like the Rattler is not bad. You know, you're free to get up again to keep your blood flowing. I think that's the game's way of telling me. It allows me time to plan your next encounter, but do keep your hands off my possessions. Seems like he's telling me to do shit. Well, I can't open that. I don't know anything about it. This needs a key. This is locked. 
there's a knife here. It looks like something's missing. So I need something there, and then I can, uh... Black goat squirrel. Weird. There's a clock. I could set the time, maybe? I don't know if anyone mentioned any time at all. I've seen no... nothing number. Oh, that's that book. This looks like you can take him out, maybe, eventually? I can look him in the face. The door doesn't open. Oh wait, it does tell you stuff. 273. Stink bug. Oh, hello. I wasn't sure if I would ever escape that iron crypt. It's... Is that sto- You- The stunt of wolf, this madness must end. Put that away. There's a key. Oh, fuck. What the fuck is this? This looks like one of the boards telling me what to do. Am I trying to, like, win or something? Zero five. The skink? I forgot that I had to put that there. Very well, you may add it to your deck and I'll deal you one every so often. So I'm trying to hit him for five. So... Can I move these guys around? What's the difference between this being here and this being here? I don't know. I'm just gonna move everything. So if these two are in play, it's not enough. Cause he's gonna end up, hold up. How does he do three damage? He has defense on everything. Unless this is three, this isn't in play. So... Wait, I can push up all the way here. What does that do? Hmm. Can I move this at all? One, three. I didn't know I could move these two. I did not know that. What the fuck? Some you can move, some you can't. One damage. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You guys figure it out. I'm going back to the table. I'm ready. We got a new card. A rock may get you out of a hard place. A gust from this may lift your creatures into the air if only for a turn. Um, this seems nice. Feeling overburdened enough with a full three items you carried on. Oh, you can have three items max. You again. Indeed, our friend freed me. Well, I basically told them how to do it. You got a plan? We have another friend here. You gotta be... I wouldn't call him a friend, but I suppose we are in deep this time. Okay. I guess the boulder... Oh, no. I have to spawn that in. Okay. There's a young cub over there. All right. Let's do the squirrel. And then... What's the stink bug? You're lacking the bones. Oh, he needs two bones. What's the skink again? What's this shit? I'm gonna put the skink down. What does he do? Or this, uh... When a card bearing the sigil would be struck, a tail is created in its place, and a card bearing the sigil moves to the right. Oh! Ah, so he spawns like a little tank. Okay, that works. It's hard to call it cowardly. 
Nice. Wait, what is he gonna play here? An alpha? The fuck? Creature, creatures adjacent to a card bearing the sigil gain one power. Okay, stink bug. I only have one bone. Um, let me get him. Okay, so we do a squirrel, and then I could sacrifice. Uh, I'll get the stoat actually, and then we could chill, or I could summon. No, we're just gonna we're gonna do this. We should be good there. Okay, and then I could summon the stink bug. What's this guy's shit? One attack and it's GG, so I could just summon the stink bug. Let me draw a card. Okay, so stink bug's out and we're I think we're good. I mean, it's still GG. I don't have to summon anything, right? Just one hit and it's GG. Yeah. True, the overkill, but they were defending, so it didn't matter. We got the... The inviolable beehive. When it is attacked, you will draw a bee. Oh my god, Bob. Uh, but the cat is nice. Let's try Bob. Yeah, I could have sacrificed the tail. Oh my god, what if we buff him too? A warm light of a campfire was a welcome sight, though the ten hungry eyes around it damped the greeting. Warm a creature by the fire, enhance its health, said one. Okay, sure, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, he's right here. Give him health. Give him health. Nice. Good shit. Worth it. What is this? This looks like a boss fight. Let's go. Uh? So strange. Why can't I remember his name? I believe I lost some of my memory in the flash. The flash? Once a card bearing the sigil is struck, the striker is then dealt a single damage point. Ouch. Double sparrow. Bob. Squirrel and the bug. Fuck me. Alright, squirrel chilling, and there's literally... We can do bullfrog. And he can defend. And now we relax. Stink bug and Bob. Bobby. 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 Oh, fuck. I didn't mean to do that. Shit. Uh-oh. Holy shit. I did not mean to do that. No way it's already GG. I'm about to pop the boulder. Not now. Draw a card first. The stink bug can kill him. And from here, we're fucked. What? It's flying. Oh, shit, it is. Oh, true. God damn it. Well, what was I going to do anyways, man? If I summon Bob, it does not... I can kill one, but it's GG nonetheless. I don't think there's any way to win this. No, because they fly over him. Bob... Bob's aerial... I don't have the two... Ah! Uh, yeah, I guess we'll use... I didn't realize I had that. I'm pretty sure we're still fucked. On top of the fact, I don't have enough anyways, because I'd have to get rid of... Yeah, I can't summon them anyways. Fuck it. We'll do double squirrel and then summon him. But it's definitely fucked. It's, it's GG. There's no winning. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do here? What do I do? I kill Bob for it? No, man. 
No. I see the way this is going. I concede. You may accept my surrender or you may finish this match the slow way. All right. I agree. I agree. Okay. A nascent raven, it is no less conniving in its incubation. Adder or a rattler? Another rattler. Is this the recommended card? Is that what it's saying with that? I'll do the raven egg out of curiosity. I gotta go this way. Oh, this is the sacrifice. The choice is yours. I kind of like him, but something feels like he's going to fuck everything up. What if I put the bullfrog in and then... Wait, what does this do again? Does this buff his attack? It does, right? Oh, so now he's aerial defense. Bob is really good then. Yeah, it gives him a sigil. Fucking six bones for the rat? Two coyote. Oh my. Lol, bitch? There's no way. Even the opossum does one, he can kill a coyote. We're fucked, aren't we? He's gonna kill him. I'm gonna take an attack here. There's nothing I can do. Uh, lol? Oh, fucking shit. Oh. How disappointing. All right, let's see here. You were stopped along the way by a trapper looking to liquidate his pelts. There was something uncanny about his appearance, but you were quickly distracted by his wares. Here's a look at my pelts. Take a pelt free of charge. See the quality. Uh, golden pelt. I'll take the golden pelt. Wait, rabbit pelt. Oh, he wants me. He wants to give me this. Is this like a heal? You're leaving already. Please consider me pelts. What the fuck? All right, give me this. You'll need more teeth for that one. What the fuck? I clicked that. Thanks for your business. The man assured you of the value of the pelts. They appear to be useless in a fight. But he mentioned that the trader further down the path would reward you for them. So you get a pelt and then you, if you survive and give it to the guy. You get stuff. I am buffing the living shit out of Bob right now. The Bob, like, I don't even know. 4-4, four, four, any attacks in flight, and anyone who has flight and attacks, he defends. Is that what it is? Oh, we're so fucked, though. Uh-oh. The incessant clank, clank, clanking reverberated between your ears. The path ahead was blocked by a grotesque figure. It was the prospector. Okay, I have so many. What is rabbit pelt? It's like one HP, just a pelt. It, is it a sacrificial card? I can't tell what the fuck it is. So you just keep it just to trade it later. Okay, I'm just gonna put him here. There's nothing else I can do. You know what? I actually should have put him here so I got another bone. That was actually stupid. Fuck. I don't know why I did that. Okay, I can either draw a card or get a... No, but then I'd have to sacrifice the squirrel and have no other cards. You won't... I won't get bones? Rattler is six. Dude, I'm fucked. Lol?
If I had put the squirrel there, I would have gotten a bone, right? Why would I not have gotten a bone from that? Say there, no need to move. I am afraid you are not dead yet. Hold still. Do you only get a... Uh, where did I put that camera of mine? Yeah, I would have, right? Why are people saying no? What the fuck? Do you really have any idea what that camera is capable of? Give me that. My bad, sorry. We have a memento to create. Oh, another one. Shall we begin to ink it? Okay, what the fuck? Sure, wait, 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 no, two bones. No, go back! Oh, too late. Power and health. Ruined. Three, two, ooh, loose tail. Um, lol. You must capture my visage. Hey, yo, I right clicked. It didn't do anything. Okay, another challenger to tell you the tale of the one who came before you. They feel they fell to a mad prospector. Nothing comes between that man and his gold. Okay, seems uh, the lowly stink bug has made its way in, but it is dealt, so it stands. Okay, let's get the wolf. All right, here we go. Uh, this. The venerable alpha, its courage emboldens the creature that stands beside it. Besides it. A randomly chosen canine card. Do you wish for something else? Five bones. Creature addition to bear in this will gain one power. He's good on the buffing. I'll take him. It's just the amount of bones is insane. An ancient woman emerged from behind an oak tree. She carefully laid out intricate wood carvings, then gestured at them brusquely. Choose. Um, what does this do again? The creature opposing a card bearing this sign. The sigil loses one power. So isn't this better? Isn't Mighty Leap better than just being a flyer? Because you defend against flyers and attack in the air. You accepted the woodcarver's offering. No, you only defend. It doesn't attack in the air. He usually you want... So he attacks on the ground, but if someone is airborne on the other side, he defends. It is useless without a second half, but you... Inu Intuited that this would not be the last encounter with her. You defend air, but attack on ground. Motherfucker! <laughs> There's a way for both of us. It's somewhere in this foul cabin. Be silent, tear you to shreds. Oh, God. Oh, dear. All right. What is this? Two fucking airborne defending rats. Oh shit. Squirrel, bullfrog, uh, wolf, and the stoat. Fuck the stoat for now. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna get the stoat out. How much? One HP. Okay, and then we have three there, so he'll be able to kill one. Shit! Wolf Stoat. I do need to defend, and I do need to pull him. I could kill them both and defend with one. Fuck the bottle. Okay, the board is cleared. 
You have me here, I surrender. No, no, no. Get another squirrel. No. No. Give me another squirrel. Three squirrels. Worth it. Okay, new cards. Uh, let's go wolf again. Nice. Okay. I feel like the wolf is like the best card. The old woodcarver again appeared before you. Choose. Okay, uh, the snake, the raven, or a bear? Let's go with the raven. Okay, so we have, uh, defending the flying. The old woman bared her teeth, barred her teeth in satisfaction. Your first totem was complete. The mighty leaf sigil will now be marked upon all your bird creatures. Oh, was it a wolf? Oh. Let's go here. I'm scared. Greetings. What does this do? The card bearing this will strike each opposing space to the left and right of the space across from it. Okay, we have the alpha for five bones. Uh, okay, let's do the squirrel. Okay, and then bullfrog. Ow, ow. Ow? Ow? We have one here, so he's gonna now attack the bullfrog and me. Holy shit. I believe. Look, there's a third talking card somewhere around here. Personally, I hate the guy. Biggest killjoy ever, but he's the only one of us with a plan to get things back to normal. Um, I could kill him, spawn the stoat. Actually, the stoat can kill him, right? Yes. Uh, and then we can spawn this guy in. No, he can't. Lol, no, he can't. I wonder if it's worth blocking with the squirrel sometimes. Uh, five bones. I'm gonna get one of these. It's not enough. If I do the squirrel sacrifice, I could grab. I could get the wolf. I'm gonna do it. Wait, what was that? He attacks, uh, let's see here. Uh, another wolf. Okay. I'm just gonna spawn the squirrel in and just chill. I think we're good. Nice. Nice. I have the most exquisite pelts. Oh, this is the same shit. Okay. I forgot what the backpack is. Some bone tokens for a rainy night. It's bleeding yields three blood if you can ignore the bleeding. This is pretty, this is a pretty clutch item, but I already have one. I feel like the bones, because I keep getting fucked by bones. A powerful item, turn this, and it'll skip my next turn. That seems nice. Salutations. All right, what do we have here? We got the squirrel. I can bring this guy out. Coyote and this bitch. The bullfrog can defend, so... Uh, yes. What 
is that? A bat. Fuck me. Maybe it's worth using the item to get the... Mm. I'm gonna get another squirrel, I guess. Even though there's not much I can do. I could, I could maybe spawn in... I'm gonna just use this and see what happens. What is that? Three? Get the stink bug. One, two. He'll be able to kill the coyote at least. Or even kill the raven. Is it better to kill the raven or the bat or the coyote? I don't know. I have five. Oh, it is five. So he attacks the left and the right. And then the squirrel I could just put down. Am I wrong with that? Oh no, he buffs the left and the right. Wait, I'm still saved though, because if he buffs, the squirrel can attack. Oh shit, okay. I have one bone. Uh, rabbit pelt. I mean, I'm about to lose here. This is GG, I'm pretty sure. There's like nothing I can do. I could do the teeth. I have to. But we're still screwed. I don't think it's enough. Fuck it, skip his turn as well. Okay, um... You can draw a new card once per turn. I'm obligated to pass. Okay. So... If I do a squirrel and sacrifice both of them, I can get the stink bug. No. I'm gonna draw him. It's me. I'm gonna get him. Let me see here. Uh, let's get the stowed out. And then he'll get more damage. And then I'll take one damage, but I'll be able to kill the guy on the left. Keep me alive. I'm gonna pretend that's what I needed to do. And then we can put the stink bug here. And then rabbit pelt. Um, I think we're good here. That's one damage. I'm just gonna draw another card. We got a wolf. I could sacrifice. Wait, can you sacrifice? Oh, you can sacrifice them. I could. I could just do it. Just out of curiosity, what if I kill it and just block? All right, whatever. Uh, yes. And just for shits, I could just put the squirrel there. Nice. What is this? You encountered a small outpost in the woods tended by a mysterious woman. It was the traitor that the old trapper had mentioned. Her appearance was unsettling, but you were mollified by her offerings. Do you mind if I examine those pelts of yours? Oh, okay, nice, I have the pelt. Let's start with you, your, okay. Here's what I can offer. I can trade you any of these, take your time. River Otter, Rat King, Grizzly. Three blood for the Grizzly. Rat King. I don't know what that does. When a card bearing this sigil dies, four bones are awarded instead of one. I think I'm gonna go Grizzly. That seems like fun. These pelts are more excellent, my thanks. Okay, so pelts give you cards. Is what it is. Plus two HP. What if I plus two HP the Grizzly? 
Rat King was the best one. All right, you go play the game and choose Rat King. The health of the grizzly has enhanced by the warmth. As one of the survivors began pulling a knife from the pocket, you withdrew. Wait, what? My boss battles are high stakes tests of your aptitude. With one flame, you will either overcome them or die. Fear not, I will let you keep the smoke. The smoke. A chill mist closed in around you. You were not alone. A figure emerged from the fog. Stand in the way of me, gold be darned. What is the smoke, brah? When a card bearing the scissor dies, four bones are awarded. And then how many are coming? Why would I not play this card? Grizzly needs three. Squirrel. I can't really do. I could just put the squirrel down. And then see if we can spawn these guys in later. I just gotta, gotta chill. I have no items here to do, so. So many bones. How many bones is that? I cannot tell. Is that four or five bones? I can't summon him yet. Uh, so I could summon... So I could defend against the coyote, or I could... Okay, hold up. So... I could kill the wolf and just tank the rat twice. Is what I'm thinking right now. But no, I think I'm gonna kill the coyote, and then when I get enough bones, I'll spawn the alpha in, but he doesn't do a lot of damage. Wait, who's that? The mole? Oh, fuck. Alright. Alright, coyote will die, and then I have enough bone- I mean, it makes more sense to, I mean, put him in the middle, but he'll gain- he'll keep damaging. He'll keep damaging the mule, it'll just take a while, I guess. Oh, wait, actually, he moved. I forgot he moves. Perfect. Um, let me get another, hopefully, a lucky draw. Two bones, I don't got them. That worked out. Dag nabbit! What does the mole do? When an empty space would be struck, a card bearer in the sigil will move to that space to receive the strike instead. Did he just kill it? Oh, he fucking killed it. Um, how many cards is that? One, two... I might be able to do the Grizzly if I sacrifice the Alpha. Alpha and two of them. I could also do the Stink Bug. The Squirrel will kill him. See what happens here. Okay, now if I do Okay, so Grizzly needs three, so I'm gonna just try this. Squirrel fuck the mole. Grizzly, one, two, three. Grizzly. One, two, three, four. Opossum can kill this, right? And then I could just spawn a squirrel in to get the bullfrog out. And just chill here. And I'm pretty sure it's GG now. I don't need to do anything else. I hope you didn't think it would be that easy. That was phase one. There's gold in them cards. What the fuck? You piece of shit. 
gold, I've struck gold. You motherfucker! <laughs> Prospector boss again, asshole. You're out of space, there's no room for that card. I think I'm just supposed to play. I think I have to literally wait for them to die. When an opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space, a card bearing the sigil will move to that empty space. Okay. Uh, I need this. How much? Three fucking HP, you piece of shit. I have nothing that can kill him. He's just gonna end up killing... Wow, now I need bone cards, you piece of shit. The stoat does how much damage? 3-1? He's just gonna die. At the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will move into the random shot in the sigil. Oh wait, you know what? He actually only does 2 damage. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna draw a card and hope it's bone. God damn it. God damn it. Shit, I should have got the squirrel instead and then spawned the wolf. Fuck. Damn, this sucks balls. Well, the bullfrog can kill. What does he do? We can kill the dog with the bullfrog. And then just leave him there. Okay, so this kind of still sucks ass. I could clear the path by squirreling and putting the uh, wolf in play. I don't want the adder. The adder can keep doing one damage. And I'm gonna chill. I think we'll survive. Double squirrel. Elk. Elk will kill him, and then we're good. Nice. Allow me to light your candles once more. I won't be killing you quite yet. You are the first in the wild to overcome a boss. As a reward, you are granted an opportunity to select a rare card. Choose carefully. Hmm. Any mini miny mo catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Fuck! The holy mantis god, a perfect incarnation of terror. Oh, I look at the stalwart mole man, the ultimate defense. When an empty space would be struck. A card bearing the sigil will move to that space to receive. Oh, and he is uh, air deep. Fuck, I didn't mean to choose him. Damn it. Whatever. With sound of the prospector's pickaxe still ringing in your ears, you carried onwards. I'm gonna buff the fucking mole. I'm gonna buff him. The rank smell of rot and mold permeated the humid air. Every step forward was answered by some nearby slip or slither. You tread cautiously into the wetlands. So hold up. So if I move all of these back. So these two, if these two are back here, are, is the, do these cards attack them if they're not in play? They'll attack the guy instead, right? So I just have to, yeah, they're not in play. So doesn't that mean if I do this, that's four damage. Why isn't that four damage right there? Yeah, they hit face for four. Isn't this saying do five damage in total? I'm taking damage. Okay, so then he die. 
He'd survive. And then I can't move these. Can I move this one back? Top one is not in play. Formidable creatures, those ants very well. I will add them to your deck and make them available for future challenges. Okay. Oh, wait, can I do these ones too? Because this was three, four, and then five aerial damage. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I think. I think. Uh, wait, what is this symbol? What are these? I don't know what that is. So, it's just, I'm just gonna do this. So, we do four damage here. No, no, no. He does nothing. No damage. Uh, two, three. Yeah, wait, what the fuck is this? I'm doing four damage here. It's a buff? I need to consult the book to see. Wait, can I move their shit? Okay. Wait, does this buff at all? Adjacent? I don't know what that does. Plus one damage per ant. You take a hit on the lizard. So this cancels out. Um... Hmm. Move the lizard to the top. I don't get it, man. I don't get it. What does this do here? All the ants are lined up. Four damage. I'll come back to this. I don't fucking get it. Three ants plus flyer. What does- what the fuck does the ant do? I don't think I saw any ant. There it is. When a card bearing this sigil is played, an ant is created in your hand. Oh. I don't- I don't- I don't get it either. I don't- I don't understand. That one's different. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh. The value represented with this sigil will be equal to the number of ants that the owner has on their side of the table. So if there's two ants in play, they have two two. Two health, two damage. So right now they're at 4-4? Four, four? Is that what this is? Oh wait, they have 2 HP each. So is it 4-2, four, 4-2, two, 4-2? Four, two, four, two? So they're all 4 damage? Okay, so then if we bring them back, now it's 2-2. Two, two. Uh... So we're fucking defending. He's gonna fly, so he can defend. So now it's three. So, bro, I don't fucking know, man. I don't see it. I don't see it. It's three, two. He will survive, do three damage, right? He'll attack, but get defended. He'll attack with three, killing this, and that's it. Caged wolf. Okay. Okay, let's see. Oh dear. Oh dear. Fuck it, we'll do this one later. Diligent ant, its strength is proportionate to the size of its colony. Stalwart snapper. The rattler. I'll do another snapper. I like the turtles. 
Uh, let's go here. Okay, so what are we gonna sacrifice? Hey, yeah, didn't he change? Oh my god, the fucking mole man. Ant queen. Um, I think we fucking throw him in. Yeah, sure, we'll give him another. Oh, wait, sacrifice the. No, 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 no. Yes, I, you're the choice, man. And then we're gonna put the alpha here. Or we give we give a Grizzly a buff to spawn Grizzly. Why not? Why not? It will give him a don't over buff it, Mole Man. Mole Man already has two sigils though. Or is this an attack buff? Now he's a shitter. Okay, what's playing here? He has a bullfrog. All right, we'll put the squirrel down. And I'm gonna get the ant queen soon. Okay, let's uh, do it up. Okay, and we're gonna get a squirrel. And let's put the squirrel down. And we could get the wolf, but I think I want the ant queen out just to see what happens. Whoops, I meant, whoops, fuck me. Wrong card, whatever, it works. Plus he can kill the alpha anyways, so it's, yeah. Uh, how many is that? Three? Uh, I mean, I could get a squirrel and then whip out the Ant Queen. But then I'd have to get the wolf out. Um... Two, three, I'm just gonna leave that in. I don't know, he'll survive. Maybe I should chill and get the squirrel and put the squirrel at the stump. And chill. Did I neglect to mention overkill damage? Excess damage is not wasted. It carries over to the card behind the mangled corpse of the victim. Lucky for you. I did not know that. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, I think I'm gonna sacrifice and move into the bullfrog's direction now. Because how much is that? Three. Um, so I'm going to get a card. Bullfrog. Lol. Because he's going to die because of the death adder, won't he? I mean, I could leave him there. Play the bullfrog. How much damage? Two, one. And just get the adder out, but I would kill it. But I could just remove him. I don't have enough bones for the alpha. Wait a minute. Let me see. I don't fucking know. I know he's gonna die. The bullfrog will not die. Yes, he will. I still have four here. Oh, wait a minute. It's if the adder attacks, right? The adder needs to attack. Okay. Let's just get the bullfrog out of here. Uh, he buffs anyways. And then ant queen and I don't have shit right now. Alright. Ant queen, caged wolf. Uh... I think I'm gonna get this. We can spawn him in. And then he'll kill. And then I could chill just to clear the board. And then I could sacrifice Mole Man, lol. The creature opposing a card bearing this will lose one power. We could Mole Man, but he'll be in a stump location. I could get rid of the squirrel, but he has no power, right? He does no damage. But it will just block it anyways. I think it's GG anyways, so... I'll just spawn the Mole Man just because I want to see him.
Oh, true. He does get plus one from the alpha doing that. I don't recall making that one. What the fuck is this? We have no idea. Something about a bell ring. An underappreciated ringworm. Its value is not readily apparent. Another snapper. Snapper build, man. More snappers. Pliers are clutch and that bottle. Oh, oh no, you can't use that. What is this? Let's get him. I don't know what he does. Uh-oh. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Lucky draw. You sure about that, man? You're gonna be sacrificed. <sighs> okay, one, two. Um, squirrel into stoat is gonna be the way here. Just to get a little bit of play in. Ow. What is that? Okay. Um, wolf, one card. I feel like I want to get the snapper. Do I want to get rid of the stoat? Uh, fuck, man. I don't know. We could do the wolf. I could play this and kill the adder and just clear the path. Oh, wait. Fuck. I killed him. I fucking killed the snapper. I fucked up. I fucked up. God damn it. Alpha's five bones. Oh, we're so screwed. I might just pop this to get the alpha out. YOLO. Shit. Shit. It's GG. fucking GG. I am serious. You cannot use that. There's no possible use for it. I'll place it on that shelf over there for now. My advice, avoid it. Fuck you, bitch. I'm leaving the seat, man. I'm dead, man. I'm dead. I don't know what else to do here. I popped everything. I'm gonna lose a candle. For more. Me too. But decide the cost that you wish to pay. Blood, triple blood, bones. Uh, bones. Kaminsky, a random card with a cost of bone. What were you expecting? What is this? Once a card bearing this is struck, the striker is then dealt a single damage. When an opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space, a card bearing the sigil will move to that empty space. Interesting. Oh, there's a shroom there. I didn't know what that did. All right, plus two HP. Who should I give plus two HP to, chat? I'm not sure. I could buff the grizzly again. The wolf is a consistent card. I agree. I have not played the grizzly yet. K 
Kingfisher, Coyote, and the Kingfisher. 1-1. One, one. And he's anti-air. I feel like we're gonna go Bullfrog. I... And pretend that was a good idea. That was a stupid idea. I should have I should have put it on the left. Fuck. Well, we're we're fucked again. We we can get a squirrel, but like I have these cards. Shit, man. I guess Squirrel into Mole Man is where we're at, and he can defend. What are these? Hey, bruh! I could sacrifice him and kill one of the cards. Or pray for a small bone card. I don't want him to die. Bone card. Fuck! I can't do shit right now. I'm gonna get attack for three. Alright, let's just keep going. Uh oh. Okay. Worker ant for one. I'm gonna do a squirrel now. Okay, so we got the squirrel and worker ant. I mean, worker ant's just gonna end up dying. Oh well, yeah, I wanna deal one. Let me see if it, oh yeah. Okay, so if one ant is up, it will deal one. Okay, and he'll survive and kill the sparrow. Oh wait, he can't, I, I think it flips so he can't attack it. I could kill the ant to summon, no I can't, Never mind. I think I'm gonna pull another one, a squirrel right now. He has three HP, so. Mm, yeah, mole man is insane. Chat, squirrel or draw? I'm thinking draw. I have four bones. All right, squirrel it is. Now, is it worth killing the ant to get a wolf? I'll kill the ant. All right, he's gonna die here. Oh wait, no, he survived. Okay, I believe, bone. Fucking bitch. I could sacrifice him now, but I need to, so it's not worth it. Okay, um, now he has one. I could get the squirrel for the snapper. Uh, and then defend with him. Mole's good, but he's dead now. Mole MVP. Wow, the mole literally just carried. What is this? It's like a weird cave. Grab at the inky black mouth of a cave. A strange beast lurked within. It spoke past one of my trials and I will be yours in a raspy voice. Three creatures will be drawn from your deck. They will decide your success or failure. Let's go right. It spoke again, but first you will choose a trial. The trial power, the three drawn cards must have at least four attack power combined to pass. The trial wisdom, the three drawn cards must have at least three sigils among them to pass. The trial of kin, two of three drawn cards must be kin to pass. I feel like this is easiest. Let the trial of power begin. Owned. Three from the wolf, four from the grizzly, one from the alpha. You have passed the trial. The beast revealed itself. It was... The left. Raven egg. Mole. What the fuck? 
The inhabited joined your menagerie. I have no idea what the fuck that was. If you deem it necessary, you may cut up one of your cards with these. A squirrel bottle. This is always a clutch item. This too. With the squirrel. I'll take those. Oh shit. It was one of his cards. Oh, whoops. You, a foul smell invaded your nostrils and caused your throat to seize. A hulking man sat by a brackish pond with his feet submerged in the dark water. He pulled a hook from a pile of rotting fish and rose to his feet. I am the angler. Go fish. Oh, fuck. Mall man! Half mall, half man! Oh! Mall man! Mall man! Which fish hard cho choose? Hey yo, I could pop and get the ant queen. I could pop the squirrel. Get no, but then I'd have to kill. It. Yes, I could do double squirrel. Wait, what's the hook? Oh shit! Should I kill him for the grizzly? Fresher fish, easy choice. Lol, bitch. Wait, should I just sacrifice it? If I spawn another one, what happens? I'll just wait here. The squirrel's just gonna die. You took mine now. Go fish. You can have it, bruh. Ant Queen. So I'm gonna squirrel. Hopefully he doesn't do it again. He didn't. And I'll get the Ant Queen. Does she spawn an ant? What the fuck does she do? Oh, okay. Worker Ant. Grizzly. Still fish, hard shoes. Take new fish, easy. Dawash! Take fish, go fish. Okay, so clearly I always want those in play. Um, one here, three. I could do another squirrel. So I could do a squirrel, sacrifice, and get a worker ant. Is it worth it is the question. Why not? I could kill this row, but why? He just has squirrels down there. I could spawn the grizzly here. I could. I could. One, two, three. Go fish. Wait, what the fuck is this? Bait bucket. So, if I kill... Uh... Go fish. Uh oh. How many is that? I might pull a card. <laughs> I could sacrifice both, but I could sacrifice all three and and then spawn him in. Or I do another squirrel. I 
fucking now I panicked! Fuck! I don't know what the fuck to do. What would I do? Sacrifice both of these for a grizzly that will defend against an attack. Yeah, if I kill both of these two, he comes here, grizzly will survive an attack. Mole man will defend. Grizzly is three. Fuck, it is three. God damn it! All right, what a I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. What if I get a nice bone card? RNG bone card. I believe! I believe! Fuck! I don't know what else to do. I'm pretty sure we're dead. I'm just gonna... Yeah. Honestly, I could have killed the ant. I could have killed the ant and, and survived a turn, actually. Damn it, dude. Please try to remain alive. Oh, okay. Well, shit, bruh, shit, bruh, shit, bruh, sash, bruh, sash, bruh. This was a cool game, though, man. Chat, you guys should play it. This was actually a great game. That was fun. That was nice.